a pretty easy read. I like Sivir here more than Jin. The extra wave clear gonna feel really nice. Zeri also Zeri, really good really angle. Nice, yeah. yeah, Zeri Yumi. Duro. He got the crank banned away the from him, so crank. he um. Ah, uh, this is this is also good. This is really heavy index into more and more and more and more dive. Uh, the Rakan, great layering with everything else. It is kind of really like hard CC engage, whereas other champs like the Nocturne, it, like Jax has it, but he's not as reliable. So I feel like they were kind of missing that. So the Rakan shores that up pretty nicely. The DRX, gonna look for the Renata here. Very strong anti-dive. I actually really like this pick. Oh, but they're just gonna go for Nautilus because they have to kill Zeri somehow, have to kill Ari somehow. So a bit of a point and click answer here. Troy Pika knows. He's calling out the draft as soon as he's going to start casting from the chat. Yeah. He read their minds. One of their guys would get caught, and then Paranoia would come in after, and then Young Jay just wouldn't go in, and then the guy would die, and it's like, well, that's not how you use the Nocturne. Yeah. <laughs> so, also, this is probably not good. Yeah, I... I I don't think getting smacked with a giant mace over and over uh, feels very good for Romer here. Oh my god, Romer. Whoa, don't turn back towards that. Yeah, so now you just don't get to the main. He's uh, dead. Yeah, he's dead. No. Um, what did he mean by that? What did he mean is? by that? Red Rooster Barbecue Sauce. No, I don't think that's what he uses on his hair. Charm is going to miss here. Satab is just destroying this guy right now. 1Q comes in and Romer, a couple of turret shots though, and immediately Sitab is in a lot of trouble, does not have flash, used it on the kill earlier on. So Guan's like, yep, yeah, cool story on your aggressive trade. I'm here to help my mid laner. Without flash, not go for the commit there onto the Jace who was hovering turret. <laughs> here we go. All right, I guess. Are we fighting? Are we challengers-ing? Are you winning like some? We are. Uh, alt in. Yep, there it is. Smite is late, so they're going in on the Zaya, who is not level six, and he's just gonna flash away. Uh, that is a dead Duro, as he was alone there in the front, getting caught by the Maokai ultimate, and now Flash comes in, traded very nicely by Pleta. Romer has to use his, and all of a sudden, DRX are off to the races. <laughs> Can we follow you? I don't think we're invited. Can you all give this? us the address? Just put it in the Twitch chat. Having dinner. It's a pretty early dinner. Not judging at all or anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> Sponge here got old. I mean, this is going to be a contest here for this break. Satab uncontested as Jace on a flank. All right, we're pressing the R button as once again, that Duro is just dead. Does not get to engage at all as now they're trying to turn onto Isaya with Featherstorm. Uh, actually, that was Jace. Never mind. He is going to go down, but this is still a DRX win, I think, as Rooster gets another Counter Strike off a really nice flash from Duck Dom on time as Lure is having a little bit of a Zeri. Um, okay. Just going to flash the wall, but a lot of low health bars, and he's not really able to convert. I don't you were like, Ox. Uh, you, uh, you, you I meant to say him. his name. Yeah, you mentioned him. That's 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 about his like. Uh, I'm also going to mention that he. Okay, we are just diving onto the Zion. I'm not going to mention anything. The fear kind of still coming down, but again, Duck Dom's so safe and not much they can do. Oh, and now he's so dead. As in they go, takes him out immediately. Rooster on the Jacks. They don't really uh, have any ability to take him out, and he just keeps on getting these massive counter strikes at the end of fights. Is DRX the best team now with Duck in challenges? It could be, actually. They're looking really good right now. Speaking of looking good. All right, we're pressing our buttons. That's the Featherstorm immediately out from Duck Dom and the Everfrost. Gonna catch the Nautilus. No, it's okay. It's, nah, that's don't. fine. No, nah, Smearl is, Smearl Smearl is, is totally not cool. bannable. No, yeah. it's not a bannable thing. Lure is on the interesting side of this fight. Like, he's he's got three kills. He can do whatever he wants. Okay. Uh, in they go. Featherstorm immediately once again. And the feathers are pulled as down will go Romer. And the Nautilus all tinned onto Lure. He's not really able to do consistent damage. And this time, they're actually able to turn onto Rooster here, who does flash away. Counter-Strike once again will not be able to dodge the giant hammer as Sidtab will swing it down. And now they're looking at Chemtech Soul. It used to be a lot more than she is now, which is hard to believe, but mm. she could actually chunk half the team with one uh, Ascendo. As this is going to be a barren attempt here with no paranoia. Yeah, just, you know, just going to send it. 
And they don't have Nature's Grasp, so if you just dodge all the Shock Blasts, maybe? Looking for the turn now. They get in onto Sponge, but a double knockup comes in. And in goes DRX into that back line. They keep their Zaya safe, and that will be enough. The Zeri immediately going to go down, and Rooster is alone. Uh, yeah, he's just going to get hammered down, and that's going to be the end of that. It is nearly a clean ace for the side of DRX. Atabs Jay's pretty clean, Valdez. He's really good at this pick, even though he did overextend. Okay, let's see. Romer is spotted by this sapling and a control ward. No real flank here. And, I mean, he's just walking into these. Yeah, he's, he's having a rough one. Maybe a little tilted after the way the laning phase went. And he does have... Uh, teleport, so he can kind of eat that damage and teleport back in, I suppose. And let's see how this one is going to go. Like we mentioned, how many Peace Birds, they have to fight for this one, but the Nature's Grasp is perfectly timed. The spike comes in, and, and that's the Zelda Trait for free over the side of DRX. A big knockup from the Rakan, but I think it's a little too little too late, as down will go Roamer as well. The Zeri just gets zapped out of midair, and that should be game number one, Wolf. That is it. That's game number one. Sponge, press an R and end in the life of HLE every single time he does it. Satab pushing Romer away so successfully there with the sapling power. Maokai plus Jace is so broken because the sapling spot for you, you have the Nature's Grasp to stop, collapses. I think we're gonna have to see some draft change up here for Hanma Life in this second game. I think they'll probably pick blue side again, but I don't know if it's going to be Jack's priority we're looking for two times in a row here. A pretty one-sided game. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in my POG for Setab right now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, this game is pretty much over. Another Zapparuni down onto Duro. And that is the end of the Nexus. Five Drakes going the way of DRX, including the Elder. And yeah, no, that wasn't Chronicler. That was me. Uh, just zapping people from... Uh, from it. Unban that guy who was speaking facts. Uh, you probably be careful with that one. Setab was like, you don't get to do that. And yeah, he no. just kind of ran the whole fight uh, the entire time. Every single objective setup, he was getting good poke damage done. His positioning was fantastic. Um, he looked really, really clean. He just w he woke up, like you said, at the beginning of the game and chose violence along with DRX. And uh, yeah, it was unfortunately for HLE, even though their comp, I think, was good. It just got outplayed. And the Maokai into Nocturne. Like they chose, they opted into this, and I I didn't like it, but I was like maybe they know something I don't know. But ultimately, I think they weren't able to find success uh, yeah. in some of these fights. They sent it, and DRX were like, we're not gonna receive that package. It will be safe to have picks it up. 755 solo kill DPM. One. Solo kill one at level one. What is the best Megadeth album? Uh, Rest in peace, Polaris is my favorite. I think. I don't know Megadeth. I don't okay. think. I mean, I probably recognize a song or two, but the name doesn't. Unanimous vote. Unanimous vote. vote. All right. There we go. Not surprised by that. Are we going to nine games? If DRX play like this again, might just be a 2-0. I don't know. I, 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 I really liked how life esports coming into this series, but Romer doesn't look at the same level as he was like two, three weeks ago, and... Yeah, it does make you wonder a little bit more about that Loki sub. Yeah. Maybe something was going on where his performance dropped a little bit and we didn't notice it because it was one of those days we don't broadcast here, and uh, maybe he's just having a bit of an off end of the season, which...